social and ethical issues, accuracy of data and information. So we're really focusing on what accuracy here is as a part of this social and ethical issue. So essentially, the accuracy of data relates to the correctness of data and the reliability of the sources where data has been attained from as well as maintaining the correctness of data as it is entered into the system. So essentially, we're making sure that we've gotten our data from reliable sources, okay, and so we know it's correct because it's from those reliable sources, and then as we put that data into our information system, we're ensuring that it goes in correctly as well, okay, so the data on our system is correct because we checked it at those two levels. Data accuracy is achieved through cross-referencing when researching information, ensuring it is correct by seeking multiple sources. So essentially that's how we cross-reference. We check multiple sources of information and if both those sources say the same thing as well as our own education, okay, then we can assume that the data we're getting is correct, okay, because we've checked it from multiple sources. Data accuracy is maintained through using data validation tools which check data upon entry into the system. So with data validation tools, I might say data, if I'm entering dates, has to exist within between two specific dates, okay, and that's known as a range check. So if the, what I enter exists outside those dates, it's going to be incorrect, okay, it's not going to be classified as valid data because I set up that validation tool. Another type of check is known as a type check, which checks the data type. So if I'm meant to be entering in a number and then I press a letter, it's going to know that, that uh, data is incorrect because it doesn't meet the criteria of the validation. Okay, so we have these things to help us ensure that we enter the data into the system correctly. Okay, we also have data verification techniques as well, which seek confirmation from the participant who's entering the data into the system. So they enter in on their data, okay, they press submit, and then it might show a web page back to them, which goes, here's your data, please read over it to ensure it's correct before you do your final submission. Okay, and that's a verification technique. Okay, and verification techniques can also be used again periodically to ensure that data keeps up to date as well and stays correct. Okay, so by having them double check the data has been entered correctly, it keeps that data uh, correct one more time and ensures that it's up to date. So let's start off by looking at the negative impacts of accuracy of data information. So the first one is inaccurate data creates inaccurate information. Okay, so if we're putting data into our system that's wrong, essentially after the system processes data, it's definitely going to be wrong because what it had to start with was incorrect. So if data into the system is incorrect, ultimately the information provided as a result of the system's processes will be incorrect as well. Nobody would want to use a system that, that gives incorrect information. Secondly is the time and tools, okay? So validation rules take time to set up and require data to be entered under strict requirements, specific data types and character lengths, etc. Okay, so you have to be very specific in outlining what it takes to be correct data to go into the system. Verification, on the other hand, requires users having the patience to read through and double check information once it has been entered. And sometimes the users, when they do this, they do get lazy when they see a verification page. Think of yourself when you've submitted all your information onto a certain form when you sign up to a page and it says, is this data correct? Do you always read it word for word? Okay, and ensure that it's actually correct? Okay, that's up to you. Okay, but in many cases, you do get lazy sometimes and you don't properly verify the data that was just entered. Let's go over now to the positive side, okay? And firstly is that data is being cross-checked, okay? So validation and verification tools assist the users in double check that data is correct on entry. The software helps us, okay? So we don't have to read things over and over again, okay? And it's also ease of mind as well that the software on the system is checking the data when we're entering it and giving us a chance to look at it one more time before we do submit it. Secondly, is improved quality of information. That's what we want to have in our system is quality information. And we're going to go into this notion of quality a little bit later as we look into our issues as well. But through the incorporation of validation and verification techniques, a system is more likely to produce accurate information that is of value to its users, okay? And that is what quality data is. It's correct information, accurate information, but also is valuable to the uh, people that use the system. If it didn't add value to the system, why are people even using the system? Okay, they want to get valuable information out of the system that helps them achieve their organizational goals. Finally, we have the reliability of the system. 
as this system contains data that is accurate, users are more likely to rely on and support the system. So it's more likely going to lead to a successful information system because users are going to be happy using the system. So I hope this has helped you understand what accuracy of data and information is. And really, it is one of the foundation issues because really data has to be correct in an information system. Okay, information systems cannot give back incorrect information, okay, because that will lead to a poor system that no one want to use. Accuracy is a great social and ethical issue to use in exams as well, okay, because it pretty much applies to every information system. So I really hope this video has given you a good understanding of what it is, okay.